Hello, my name is Mandy Goodset, and I am the Performing Arts and Humanities Librarian and the Open Educational Resources and Copyright Advisor at Cleveland State University. And I'm here with my colleague, Shelly Rose, who teaches in the History Department here at CSU. And we are going to be talking about how Wikipedia can be used as an open pedagogy tool, specifically looking at a case study in Shelly's class. Thanks, Mandy. Um, so our course this semester was History 370, and it's cross-listed as a graduate course as number 570 at Cleveland State, and it's called Global Interconnections. It's a writing across the curriculum course as well as a methods course for our social studies teachers, future social studies teachers. Um, and so it's a pretty advanced course. We're looking at historiography, um, which is the study of how people, historians, do history. Um, and so that's part of our, our plan and our goals in the class. Um, one thing that we did differently this semester is choose to do a Wikipedia editing project. Um, so I'm really grateful that Mandy was on board with that. Um, the reasons we chose Wikipedia editing is because I was approached by a colleague in the theater department who is doing um, a play in February and March called Ancestra, which you can see on their website. Um, the play was inspired by the 1853 um, Women's Rights Convention in Cleveland, and we wanted to do something that would raise awareness about the play, but also help people understand the historical context of that 1853 convention within the play a little bit better. Um, and one of the things that we used to support this was to find Wikipedia articles about the women who were featured, um, like Lucretia Mott, um, Ernestine Rose, and um, have the students edit the Wikipedia articles or curate them to help make sure that they were ready for people at the play to be able to click on when they were like, oh, who is that, right? Um, and the other secondary outcome for this class was to introduce these future high school educators to Wikipedia education as a method, like as a teaching method um, and a platform. So the quick overview is the course enrolled 19 student editors. Um, Mandy was an instructor, I was an instructor in the platform, and also I had a GA who has experience with Wikipedia, thank goodness, and she was in there too. Um, 17 of the students were undergrads and two were graduate students in our history MA program. And if you're curious, um, I think we'll be posting these slides to the channel. And so you can click on this link and it is the public page um, to our Wikipedia dashboard. Um, all the classes in have that public page. Thanks, Mandy. Um, so a few tips, the, you know, what do we wish we knew uh, about Wikipedia and Wiki Education Students Program? Um, number one, plan early. Do not approach your librarian the week before the semester starts, <laughs> though they are very understanding and wonderful colleagues. Um, scout the topic and possible articles ahead of time. I think this was really critical to our success in this class that we had a, a group of articles that I pre-chose. Um, whether it's something that matches the course content, in this case, we read the script for Ancestra and we pulled out the historical women um, and found their presence on Wikipedia. And not all of them were present, right? And so we had to make some choices about what to do. Um, the other thing to know, Wiki, Wiki Education will build your modules for you. They have, you know, you, you sign up and then they build it out, which is amazing. Um, but it requires six weeks minimum for the project. Um, and my class did it with the six weeks. And I think, honestly, next time I would do it to the 15 weeks, right, to give them that whole experience. Um, it felt a little rushed to them and they they were had some frustration. Um, but I think it was the timeline partly. The other thing is, as an instructor, you're required to have a Wikipedia account and to apply for the Wiki, Wiki education classroom for this semester, I needed to complete training modules. So that's, again, plan early. Um, and then the students themselves completed four exercises and nine modules on the dashboard, which you can click here in the slide and go see how to sign up and some more information from Wikipedia. And this is what it looks like from the instructor view. Um, and you can see we finished the project in this class. We edited five articles. Um, there were 104 total edits. The student editors, they're, I mean, they're all there. They were all present, which was great. Um, the little I tells you that four didn't finish the modules. Um, two withdrew and two just didn't complete all of them. They're missing one or two, which I think is actually a pretty good number. Um, 
there's words added and a lot of references were added. And this was something the students found to be fruitful when they couldn't edit the article, they were actually correcting references. So kudos to Mandy um, for making sure they knew how to do that. Um, I guess we can go to the next slide. So for those listening who are librarians, I just wanna talk a little bit about how I was able to provide support and help. Um, so one thing that I did was I was kind of aware of the Wiki education program and had gotten a little bit of training in advance. So while I definitely am not an expert in Wikipedia, um, I was able to provide a little bit of guidance and support for Shelly as she kind of explored this opportunity. So I think as librarians who, you know, if you want to be supporting open pedagogy, one way is to kind of be aware of how Wikipedia editing can be an open pedagogy strategy and how to support faculty with that. I also um, had the opportunity to have a session with the students and help them understand how to find appropriate sources for Wikipedia entries. Um, Wikipedia is very clear, like these are the kinds of sources that we think are appropriate. So they want independent sources, authoritative sources that represent the consensus in the field. And they really emphasize that sources that come from your academic library are a good option. So that I think is great. And that gave me the opportunity to teach the students how to find them. Um, particularly for these history students, I connected them with primary source collections, taught them how to find relevant books and articles from our collection. Um, I did talk a little bit about avoiding plagiarism and the Wiki education program does emphasize that a lot with students um, not to plagiarize. And I did talk a little bit too about copyright issues and those mostly come up when students are inserting images into their entry. Um, it's important that they choose either public domain or openly licensed images. And so we talked a little bit about how to find them and include them. Yeah, those lessons were awesome for the students. Um, and as I said to Mandy, they needed them <laughs> for the images for sure. Um, so throughout this process, Wikipedia, when we signed up, asked how the students would be um, completing work related to the editing outside of the modules that Wikipedia built for us. Um, and one of the options was to have a blog where the students reflected, which I interpreted in a couple ways. My students were already on Teams, and so they reflected in Microsoft Teams regularly to these prompts that I gave them about Wikipedia and about their process. And then I pulled from those to create a public blog post on our social studies program blog so that we could help support Ancestra, right? Um, the theater um, play, the theater department's play. And so pulling from those, this slide is sort of an overview of what we've heard from the students. And they did individual reflections for me as well um, that were private so that I could, you know, do their grading. Um, one thing that was overwhelmingly clear is that their previous experience with Wikipedia is almost across the board negative. Um, not one of them said, oh, I love Wikipedia. They all said, why are you making us do this? Our teachers said no, <laughs> right? Um, and so they were very cautious um, and, and they didn't know a lot about the platform, which made me think a lot about how that translates to some of the things we're dealing with right now in terms of thinking about artificial intelligence tools and other technologies in our classrooms. like. If we're going to ban them, we're going to end up with students who are afraid to use tools that are going to be essential someday, right, for their careers. So it was an interesting discussion, especially that first one. Um, and in their individual final reflections, a lot of them noted that they came to the project really skeptical. And what happened was the second bullet point, it really increased their confidence in the reliability of Wikipedia articles. First, they saw how they were being edited, right, and the standards they were being held to, and they were struggling with them, right, because it was hard to find places to edit and add meaningful edits um, for Wikipedia um, and sources, right, from the library. And um, they also got a good appreciation of the research process. And because they appreciated and respected the people who had researched the articles they were editing, they were like, oh, well, Wikipedia is okay, right? Um, so it was very interesting to watch their evolution. Um, the one thing that 
they almost all commented on is that the learning modules the that Wikipedia set up there, first of all, there are a few cases, and I was telling this to Mandy, right? A um, few cases where I can go into an LMS and give it my syllabus and the dates and my my goals, and it creates the timeline for me, right? Modules, exercises, what should I be talking about that day? Um, that is an amazing feature of this dashboard. Um, the students in my 300 and 500 level class felt that this dashboard was a little bit too tedious, I think. Um, and they really felt it was more suited to first year undergraduates um, or second year undergraduates, possibly maybe high school students. Um, they felt that um, they had a good grounding already in a lot of the things the modules were asking them to do. And I, you know, it's a credit to Mandy and our library staff um, because they felt that they didn't need them. Um, but I think it's also, we need to note we were in a 300 level class. Oh, I keep talking so much. Sorry, Mandy. Um, <laughs> but finally, so after the student reflections from the instructor point of view, I think in the future, I would not use this in my 300 level class. I thought it would be useful for them to learn the, the method, right, for future teaching. But I think there are more useful things to reach that outcome. Um, and so it's, besides them doing the module, like I would introduce them what can be done, but not necessarily make them do all nine exercises. Um, so I would probably use this in a 100 or 200 level course in the future, or maybe as an edit-a-thon, which Mandy can talk about a little bit later. Um, it does fit really well with historical thinking skills, digital literacy, um, information literacy, and research processes, which, you know, that's great. Um, if I were to do it again, I think I would also, in a lower level class, plan it as a primary assignment and stretch it out, as I said before, from the six weeks to the 15, because six was just so compact. I think the students felt like, oh, I'm doing a module every day, right? Um, and the other thing is I would reach out early to my librarian partners, first, so they don't have to scramble to support my class. But second, um, because I think... Um, having a little extra time would have helped me curate which articles they edited better um, and maybe make some better decisions about that. And I think that, like Mandy said, she had some training in this. Um, our librarians have this, this experience, like we need to give ourselves time to, to use it, right, to its fullest potential. <laughs> and from, from my end, my experience, um, I was really um excited and it was wonderful that Shelly approached me about this project I it was really wonderful um so I think librarians can be helpful in um Wikipedia related assignments there are a lot of um skills that we can bring to the students we can help them understand what sources are appropriate and how to find them and how to bring integrate them into the the entries that they're writing or correcting um, and I was really pleased to see that the Wiki Education Program does encourage librarians to be involved and, and to, for the students to come to their librarian and, and use the resources at their library. So that's really cool. Um, in terms of, you know, I wasn't super involved throughout the whole process of the students creating their entries, but I think in general, um, you can see from what Shelley was saying about their experience that it's meaningful to have students conducting research or making changes of material out in the open so others can benefit from it. So just like with you know, many other open pedagogy projects, when the materials are um, not something that they just write for themselves and just their teacher sees it when it's open to the entire world um, and can help other people understand something important like, um, you know, women's suffrage in uh, Northeast Ohio, that's really exciting and can be more meaningful for students. So that I think was a, a reason that this was worth pursuing. <laughs> and then in terms of what's next, um, it sounds like we probably, Shelly's probably not going to use this in her class again, at least not in the immediate future. But it certainly helped me a lot to work with her on this because I work with a lot of faculty across many departments and I can see potential for this sort of project in other places as well. But another thing that we um, learned from the experience was initially we were thinking of doing a Wikipedia edit-a-thon 
And that, it turns out, requires different planning and different skills and timeline and that sort of thing. Um, so, but we found that out by reaching out to others who have done an edit-a-thon before and talked to them about what is needed. And we learned a lot. We learned, uh, we met Wikipedians and, and learned what they do. And so I think what might be next is actually thinking about doing um, s some sort of edit-a-thon that isn't tied to the Wiki education platform um, and uh, seeing where that takes us and how we can continue to use Wikipedia to teach students and also help the broader community. So I don't know, Shelly, if you have anything else to add? Um, no, I, I think that's it. I think that's great. I mean, I don't want to feel like we're being negative on this. I think, honestly, I tried it and I tried it in a context that wasn't exactly suited for what this platform does. Um, so if I were to do with Mandy, maybe the edit-a-thon, if we gear up to that next level, um, or a 100 level class, have it really integrated in, I think that would be a, a really meaningful assignment. Um, and honestly, the students are so supported in this dashboard. There are office hours for the students that the wiki educators um, help with and facilitate and office hours for the instructors. I mean, it's really, it is really well done. So if you have any questions for us about our experience or want to share your own experiences, um, we look forward to chatting with you in Discord. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Mandy.